Hey, welcome to CG Hacks. This is Ryan Sims, and today we're going to be talking about using smog and how you can use smog in your Photoshop composites to create dynamic atmosphere. See you in Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. We've got the man himself here, Nick Fury, and I'm going to start adding in some smog. So let's start building out the scene. I'm going to head over to Adobe Bridge, pull that up, and we're going to pull up our smog folder right here. And I have already starred a couple of my favorites, so I'm going to just go ahead and pull those up real fast. So I'm going to start grabbing a couple and start dragging them in. I'm going to start with this. I think I might try to do something a little bit more in the foreground to start off with. So let's grab this one then drag it into Photoshop and put it right there above my Nick Fury layer. Once I've got it in there, I'm just going to go ahead and resize this layer just to kind of fill up the edges there. Let me pull it off to the side just a tiny bit, maybe slightly rotate it. There we go. Something kind of like that. Then hit enter. Now these are already good to go, saved out as PNGs, so it's just simple like that, drag and drop. If I want to change the blending mode over to screen, then I can. It's going to give it a little bit more of that transparency. So like if I want to be able to see his hand there, I could do that. But I actually kind of like the thickness. So I'm going to go back from screen back to just the normal mode and just kind of leave it thick and dark like that. Now, also, it's good to know that, say, you've got this kind of dark grayish smoke here. If you want to change that to be even darker or a little bit lighter, just a simple levels adjustment will help fix that. So if I go up here to my adjustments, go to levels, click right here and then clip that to my smog layer by clicking this little box right here. You can see if I take my black slider right here and just kind of play with the blacks, we can make this smoke a little bit darker if we'd like. If we want to mess with the highlights, kind of bump those up just a little bit more. We can do that as well. Kind of mess around with those settings there to get the kind of effect we desire. If you want to play with the midtones, make it a little bit more of a white smoke a little bit darker just some quick adjustments that you can make to change up the smog effect i like that so let's just keep that right there for right now and let's flesh out the scene let's start adding some more things i think i might start adding some more smog to the background so i'm going to click below nick fury and go ahead and head back inside here and let's grab this one right here i'm just going to drag and drop it in resize it just a little bit something like that and then maybe I'll grab one to put over on this side so let's go back into bridge maybe I'll grab this one right here drag it in pop it right there and just from that alone it's already changed so much about the image it looks like Nick Fury is encapsulated within this smog and so this was before and this is after and so just that real simple, subtle change has already added so much more atmosphere to this image. Now, if you really want to get crazy and you want to make it seem like this smog in the foreground is a little bit closer, you can always go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and maybe add a little bit more blur to it to seem like it's getting a little bit more depth of field. And that way it seems closer to the camera with that blur effect. Now, let's say for some example, you want to change the color of this gas. Maybe, you know, you've got some type of gas that needs to be green or whatever color you want. Just add a hue adjustment layer. We're going to go up to adjustments, go to hue and saturation. We'll clip that to our smog layer and then just start moving this slider right here to change the color of your smog. And you may want to bump up the saturation as well, just so you can kind of see what's going on there. And so let's say for whatever reason you want like a, a green type of smog. I don't know, maybe like Mysterio's close by, <laughs> something like that. And there you go. You got some, some green smoke there. And of course you can adjust this appropriately. So let's say I want to apply that same hue saturation layer to the smog that's behind Nick Fury. Probably the best way to do that is to group both of these together. So I'll just go ahead and select both of these smog layers. Hit Control G, put them in a group. I'll just rename it smog and now that they're in a group I'll just go ahead and go back up to that hue saturation layer hold the alt key down drag it down right above smog 
and then right click and create clipping mask. Or I can go back up to that little button right there as before and click it to do the same thing. And now both of those layers within that group have now applied that hue saturation color to it. Same as before, if your two smog layers are both set to normal, if you want to change them both to screen, you can just click on that smog grouping, change the blending mode to screen. And there you have it. That's before, that's after. I like to have it right there on, on pass through, just keeping it back on normal, just because I like having that effect on there. So one other quick tip is say this foreground element of uh, the smog, if I want to manipulate that, probably the best way to do that would be to go up to edit, transform and warp. And what you'll be able to do is just kind of manipulate this. Say I want to be able to see a little bit more of his hand. I could do something like that there. Manipulate this area, maybe bring more smoke up here. Bring that down, something like that. And then hit enter. That'd be a quick way to manipulate this layer. Now let me hit control Z and undo that real quick. One thing that you can't do, just like in some of the other videos that we've seen, is that because this image is a PNG, if we were to try to manipulate it with puppet warp, it does act kind of wonky. So let me show you that. If you go to edit, puppet warp, and say I set my anchor points, and then try to manipulate it this way. As you can see, like right here in this area, it, uh, we kind of lose that smooth transition and it becomes kind of blocky right here. So if I hit enter, you see that effect kind of just ends up staying there and we don't want that. So let's control Z undo that and see now it's smooth again right there versus that blockiness so that's the only thing is that you can't use puppet warp but the normal uh warp option should work out just fine so something to consider when trying to manipulate the smog layers and that is pretty much it with using smog in photoshop it really is that simple it's just drag and drop create your scene just to review we talked a little bit about putting your smog in groupings and changing the blending mode, using levels to adjust the highlights to make your smog look either lighter or darker, using the hue saturation adjustment layer to change the color of your smog. And remember, you can use the warp tool to manipulate your smog, but you can't use the puppet warp tool. It'll create a weird effect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it beneficial to you. If you're interested in this pack, please check out CG Hacks. The link's gonna be in the description below. And remember until next time, create more, say less, stay creative.